Hello and welcome. I'm here today at Caterpillar talking about fuel consumption with Dave Costura. Welcome Dave. Thank you. Now Dave, in your role as an advanced engineering manager, what are your views on how fuel consumption can be improved on off-highway machines? Sure, that's a great question. So from my perspective, there's at least three different things that we need to think about when we're talking about fuel consumption. You have the operator, obviously the guy who's doing the job, um, and you have the machine itself, which is then transferring the power from the engine, which is the third bit. What technologies is Caterpillar introducing into the product range to improve fuel consumption, and what effect will they have? Uh, we're looking at everything from the core engine to the combustion system, which we're actually um, you know, using our simulation techniques to get the best uh, efficiency out of the combustion system. Uh, we got to then get air into that combustion system, so we're looking at the turbocharger systems, uh, using the most efficient uh, aerodynamics, various things after treatment, definitely after treatment is going to factor into this. So you pull all those things together, you get the controls right, we can have a pretty big impact on fuel consumption. You mentioned earlier that the operator plays a significant role in fuel consumption. Can it be done to reduce operator variability? The biggest thing that we can do to help them is just keep it simple. Just make the make it completely transparent to them so they can focus on what they need to do. Uh, you know, if, if they don't even know there's an engine in there, that's great. You know, just let them go off and do their thing. Um, and you know, get some data off the uh, application to see if there's something we could do to make it more transparent, but it's just keep it simple for the operator. Dave, it's been some fascinating insights there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So